everyone, my name is Charlie here today, back again with a brand new episode here in the Cheltenham Town Career Mode series. Today is Season 2, Episode Number 8, and we have five more games to go through in today's episode. Uh, we're actually finishing off the month of November uh, with these three games in the league, uh, and then we kick off December with two games in two different cup competitions. We've got Grimsby in the FA Cup and Exeter City in the Checker Trade Trophy. Okay guys, so for today's episode, I'm going to be playing the first game against Millwall, uh, and then I will simulate the game against Rotherham at home. I will play against Southend United away from home. We did beat them in the Checker Trade Trophy last episode. Uh, and then the FA Cup game, I'm going to actually simulate this one. Uh, we play Grimsby. We've played them so many times in this series. I think we should be able to beat them on a simmed game. Uh, and then I will play the Checker Trade Trophy game against Exeter City. So guys, here we go into the first game of today's episode. It is against Millwall, away from home. Let's get into this one. Let's hope we can continue our really good form in the league. Here is the league table. We're currently in sixth. They're not in the top ten. I don't know actually where they are. I didn't even check. Uh, we're in sixth and hopefully we can push on, push up the table, hopefully finish higher in one of the promotion spots. Uh, well, the, not automatic promotion spots, but the playoff spots uh, in this episode. That'd be very, very nice. So the first corner of the game will go the way of Cheltenham Town. Uh, Frederick Oldrup Jensen whipping this one in. No one under it for us, but it's out here to Munz, whose touch is poor, but he's got it back there. It's here with McLaren. He can't hold on to it, and Ferguson's got it. He tries to get it back, but Ferguson all clear. McLaren down for Connor Chaplin. Decent move on here. Let's try and get back in. And Chaplin looking for the bottom corner, but Ford with the save. It's a nice save from the keeper. We're still... We're basically on top of the moment. Uh, Stevenson whips it in from this side. Morrison down to Pell. He can't hold on to it, but we'll come back with him through Munns. And Pell will go down to the byline and then might look to put a ball across the top, but he made a terrible run. It will be a goal kick because Pell touched it on the way out. Munns wins that one. Here's Pell in it to Frederick Oldrup Jensen over towards Stevenson. Back in here towards Pell, but it's a terrible ball, but Ultra Jensen gets it. Can we slip it through to Pell? And Pell! Oh, he should have just... Uh, I went for it first time. I thought it would be better to go for first time, and he scuffs it. I look for that far corner. Just doesn't have the, the decency to put it, to place it in that top corner there. Trying to work something here with McLaren. He can't even get that ball away from Webster. Good tackle, Stevenson. He's now here with Ultra Jensen. Try and send away Connor Chaplin to put a ball in onto someone's head. Someone's in there. Stevenson, and what a goal from the midfielder. Just before halftime, Connor Chaplin with the assist, and Stevenson with the goal. What a guy he is, and what a goal for Cheltenham Town. 1-0 going to the break against Millwall. Probably will be 1-0 unless we stuff this up at the end. Keeper comes out to punch. You can't get there, and the number 13 slots it away. 1-0. And there is the halftime whistle. Nothing else since that goal. It's a good, good way to finish the first half. Let's push on in the second. And here's McLaren. Jamie McLaren trying to burst through the hole. And Jamie McLaren with a shot. Ah, oh, just past the post. That was nice from Jamie. But he couldn't get the shot on target. Gregory looking down for uh, one of their wingers. And a ball comes in. And Morrison off the bar. And Abdu. Oh, Woodman couldn't keep it out. It's 1-1. Freddie Woodman knocks it into his own net there. The first time he, I think he flipped it onto the bar. They even hit the, either hit the bar or he hit it onto the bar himself. Let's check that again. Now nah, he missed it and hit it onto the bar. The second time it couldn't hit off the bar, and Freddie Woodman pushes it into his own net. And that's one one. Damn. So guys, I made a substitution and brought on Cardoso uh, for Stevenson. Stevenson was on a yellow, and Cardoso is going to be slotting into that cam spot. Uh, hopefully he can help us get a late goal. Looking for a ball. He finds out wide here with. Chaplin. Can Chaplin get that one in towards Oldrup Jensen? Now into Jamie McLaren. And Jamie McLaren can take a strike. No, he can't. Do with some great defensive work there. And there is the full time whistle. We have drawn against Millwall. Not the greatest result, but at least it's a point rather than a loss. So Oldrup Jensen's actually going to be out for next game because he's racked up too many cards. So that's very, very bad. So, guys, it's time to simulate the second game in today's episode against Rotherham. Oh, at home, sorry for this one. 25th of November, let's see if we can get the points, and we're going to simulate it, and we do indeed get the points, Leonard with the goal, but unfortunately Cardoso got injured uh, in the 64th minute, so hopefully he'll be alright, we'll have to wait and see, it's alright, he'll only be out for 7 days, so it should be okay. So guys, here we go, into the second game in today's episode, that we're actually going to be playing, it is once again in the league, 
this time away from home against Southend United. So here we go guys, straight on into this game. Let's hope we can pick up the three points against South uh, Southend. Sorry, I know said Southampton. Why would we be playing Southampton? But let's hope we can pick up the three points against Southend United. And uh, yeah, that'd be very, very nice for our season. Here's White for Southend United down the wing. Puts the ball into the, into the box over. Carol Metz deals with it fairly decently. Uh, Ryan Leonard playing against his former team today. Uh, as some of you would know, we bought him on a free transfer from uh, Southend United, a League One side. But that ball's been played through beautifully for Ultra Jensen. And to make it one, how did he miss that? How do you miss that opportunity? Come on. But yeah, let's. Um, Leonard, sorry, playing against his former club today. Let's hope he can put on a show. So here is a corner for Southend. It gets whipped in, and Carol Metz, I think, was the man that got it out. McLaren coming back to do some defensive duty now. Can't get any done. And someone's down the box. It's Metz. Don't score. That would be horrendous if they did. But I think he's back up. Oh, no. He's sitting on the touchline. It's Carol Metz, isn't it? Yes, it is Carol Metz. We can't have another freaking injury. We've got so many injuries. Just constant injuries. And it's just getting ridiculous now. Especially if our best centre-back gets injured. He's been so solid this season. As we counter-attack here with McLaren. Oh, great tackle by Leonard, and let's send him through. Ryan Leonard against his former club, puts it in the bottom corner, but can't find the corner. Len um, Metz is joining the defense again. Let's hope he's okay. So Metz just has a little, he has a plus on him, a little cross, but he also has a, a band-aid uh, on his little person. So hopefully he'll be okay. We'll see how we go. Um, but I would like to keep him on for as long as possible. That one just gets slipped through to McLaren. And can we put it over towards Aldrip Jensen? And Aldrip Jensen finally gets one into the back of the net. And it's 1-0 for Cheltenham Town. That goal has been coming for ages. Um, and it finally gets one in the back of the net. It was very lucky that it actually came through to him in the end. He just taps it through very strong against that defender. And 1-0 to Cheltenham Town. Aldrip Jensen with another great tackle. But it's deemed a foul. As the ball gets kicked into him there. Oh, that's, that's a red card. 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 Far out. Why'd I do that? <laughs> I even said it as well as I was doing it. And Frederick Oldjub Jensen gets his second red card in like two weeks. This one, not from racking up too many yellows. This one from a straight red. And it's Williams. Looks to put it in the back of the net, but can't. So I've done a terrible thing and sent off one of my players basically on purpose. Like, oh, it was a terrible red card. It was so, like, blatant as well. I can't believe I did that. We are counter-attacking now. Leonard's forward. McLaren's forward. Can we play through Leonard? Yes, we can. And Ryan Leonard against his former team. He scored. And that's against his former club. And he is celebrating like crazy. Especially against his former home fans. What a goal from Ryan Leonard. It's 2-0. Although we are down to 10 men. That, that's very nice from Ryan Leonard at the near post. Keeper can't do anything about it. 2-0. And there is a halftime whistle. Quite a successful first half. If you think about the fact that Carol Metz got injured and we got a red card, but we are still 2 0 up. Um, it's a pretty good first half. So, a couple of half time substitutions for me Pell and Oshinessi are going to come on for Metz and Leonard. I'm bringing off Leonard because he is on a yellow card and I'm diving in a lot at the moment. Um, and I'm bringing off Metz because I don't want him to get any more injured than he already is. Here is Connor Chaplin. He's been playing a lot from the left side this year. But he's been doing quite well there, since we don't have a very... Oh, sorry, he's been playing a lot from the right side. He's been doing well. Oh, we can play through McLaren here. And Jamie McLaren to make it 3-0, basically to steal the game. And there is game, set, match. We are probably going to go on and beat this team. And what a goal it is from Jamie McLaren. Yes. Paige, yes, I went out. I've brought him on as a superstar. We can try and counterattack now with Paige and McLaren. It's here with Paige again. But he can't get it through past Coker. Here's McLaughlin here for South End United. Just before the end of the game. Can we hold on to the three points? He's got to be offside ref. But he's not. And he misses and hits the bar. And there is the full-time whistle. We have won this game. 3-0. Great win. What a great win. So we are in a little bit of a pickle going to the next game. Carol Metz has been injured for three weeks. Uh, Tom Flanagan uh, is not eligible for the next game. And Frederick Oldrup Jensen is also not available for the next game. Oh dear. 
So we've got another little Youth Academy update of the three players that are in our Youth Academy. We really need to send out another scout and we will do that shortly. Maybe in the transfer window, maybe in this episode. We'll see how we go. The only player really looking decent is, of course, Sam Phillips. 77 to 85 potential. Jamie Morris is probably the only other decent one. Peter Kelly could be decent, but he's just so low rated at the minute. It probably won't even get into our first team for a while. I could call him up and then try and move him on for loan until he gets decent, but I don't know what we're going to do. I'm actually going to set up another scouting network. I'm going to leave it in this little uh, the United Kingdom for now. I'm going to look for some Irish youngsters just for another three months. That's only 36,000. It's not too bad. So guys, it's time to simulate this game in the Emirates FA Cup against Grimsby Town. It is away from home. I will play every other FA Cup game after this one if we get through. Uh, it's just I need to simulate this one. And I feel like we should be able to win it. Uh, let's simulate this one and we have won it quite easily. Cardoso and Munz with the goals as a 2-0 win. So guys, here we go into the final game in today's episode. Once again, in the Checker Trade Trophy, just like the last couple of episodes. Uh, this one is a massive game. It is the area semi-final. I don't know if that means that we go on to the final next time. Um, I'm pretty sure that's probably what happens. So we take on the other area. I don't really know how it works. But I think that the final will be next, like the next game that we play if we get through this round. Uh, hopefully we should be able to get through it. We are taking on Exeter City. Let's go. Ball in. And Newfield trying to get that one out, but Woodman will have to make the block. And it will eventually get into his hands, which is quite lucky there. But it was still, they're pretty much all over us at the moment, to be honest. So we can get a foothold in this game. And Butterfield will come inside and put the ball over the top. And Watkins has made it one for Exeter City. No, he hasn't. He's offside. Oh, that was so lucky. I was just like... Oh, game over basically because I don't see how we're going to score on this one. Go down to McLaren and he's going to muscle away from this defender. And Jamie McLaren comes inside and Jamie McLaren for 1-0. Oh, he's found the top corner. And that is what he does. Jamie McLaren making it 1-0 for us here today against Exeter City. They can't hold on. They can't handle him. Sorry, they, can, they probably could hold on to him. But they cannot handle him. And that is a nice solo goal, pretty much, from Jamie McLaren. Muscling his way past the defenders and finding the top corner. Look at that. Just muscles around him. And then just turns, comes inside, and finds the far top corner. That is so far in the top corner. Wow, this angle will show just that. And bang, right up in the top corner. Nice stuff from Jamie. So that's the halftime whistle. We're going to go into the breakout 1-0 up. That's pretty damn good. I'm going to take that. Now... Get that one in through to Pell. Looking to put a ball into the box now. McLaren's there. He goes for the scissor kick. And that could have been the spectacular McLaren. But he couldn't get that one. <laughs> he couldn't get any power behind it. Newfield coming down to pressurize him. Puts the ball back to the edge of the box where Watkins is. And he takes a strike. And Woodman's going to have to flick it over the bar. But it's a good strike from the Exeter player. They're trying to get themselves back into this one. As we'll try to get it out with Pell and that close range shot. Newfield will clear. And now Dayton will clear. And we are lucky to still be in this one as James comes to put the ball back into the box. Which Pearslow will clear. And then Leonard will also clear. But there's still a little bit of danger here until Dayton can get that one clear. But he gets it back into the box. It's eventually cleared out here now with uh, Q Hung Go after Newfield gave it off to him. And now he could try and send Dayton away. But, oh, he could get into it. Dayton... First time back into the team, and he's nearly got us a second goal. And he'll try to get around this defender and put it into McLaren to make it two, and he does, and that is game over. McLaren's made it two. We are going to be beating Exeter City here 2 0 in the Checker Trade Trophy. So he scored in the 30th minute, and then he had to wait another hour to get a second goal. But Jamie McLaren has won us this game against Exeter City. And what a game he's had. And what a season he's having. Bauer has requested a new contract. I guess we can sign him up for a little bit longer. Um, and then probably sell him on in maybe the summer. So guys, that's actually all for today's episode. And if you look over here at the table, we are in third place going into the next episode. We are doing so, so well. If you look at the fixture list, next episode, I think there's six games in the rest of the month. But I probably will finish off 
the rest of the month of December. Then we've got a massive game in December, including the Checker Trade Trophy game against Cambridge United, which probably is the final. Um, oh, there's two legs, so it might not be the final. So that Cambridge game still is not the final of the Checker Trade Trophy, but it will be played over two legs. Um, but next episode, we'll try and get through the rest of the month of December all in one episode, play Play 3, Sim 3. Um, and hopefully we can stay up at the top of the table. That'd be very, very nice. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Cheltenham Town Career Mode very soon. Bye-bye.